<laughs> Is this for real? These clowns legitimately think you are all stupid. That they can say whatever they want just to suck the money out of you. This was in Fox News. I've been following a carnivore diet for seven years. I've drinking blood, I've eaten raw brains, raw liver. What do I have to eat a live rabbit to get in a news story? I've reached out to so many publications and I've never been in one article. Now these people come along, they follow the diet for 30 days, and they're on the front page of mainstream news. Do you guys realize how big Cargill is? They are the largest privately owned corporation in America. Hundreds of billions, probably trillions of dollars. These people don't want to just control the food supply. They want to take over the world. Doesn't matter if you're carnivore or vegan, they own both plant and animal products. That's what this is about. Cargill has been cutting her checks when she was vegan, and now they're doing the same for her to be carnivore. This is a corporate demon disguised as a boyish looking blonde girl. Whether it's convincing you to donate money to some documentary or buying their falsely marketed meat, they are the true scum of this earth. And believe it or not, I'm the only person I'm aware of in the carnivore community not sponsored by these people. Yeah, there are other few small YouTube channels, but you haven't heard of them because they don't have this corporate backing. And the reason for that is I actually have the integrity to work an actual job instead of stealing people's money. Let's see what this young lady is up to. I've done a lot of crazy things in my life, but I haven't eaten only meat for 30 days until now. Well, that certainly isn't a steak from Butcher Box. Looks like a factory farmed grain fed feedlot ribeye cut out of a tortured cow in the Midwest. At least she's probably feeding her dog meat now. Elise was kind enough to put clips of her fellow Cargill con men. Even Rat Boy made an appearance. There are a few theories on how eating only animal foods can be surprisingly helpful for one's health. Essentially, the carnivore diet is a form of an elimination diet, which means that it removes all common food sensitivities from the picture. She had the nerve to put an ad in her video for ButcherBox, claiming they don't sell factory farmed meat. As a huge health advocate and someone who cares about the animals and our environment, I've teamed up with ButcherBox to shed some light on how to source high quality meat and opt out of factory farming entirely. About 80% of the food that I consumed during this 30 day challenge was from my monthly butcher box and the other 20% from local farms. I'm so thankful that this service exists and I love what they stand for. Their goal is to make grass fed beef and organic chicken more accessible than ever before. All of their meat is free from antibiotics and hormones. It's 100% grass fed and finished and all of their chicken is free range and organic. But that isn't true. Butcher Box is not high quality meat. They are literally selling you factory farmed pork, bacon, and chicken. These people will lie through their teeth. Do you know what organic chicken means? It means the chicken was fed organic corn and soy. Same garbage from the supermarket. Their heritage pork is even worse. It's literally conventional factory farmed pork, not even organic, sold to you at a premium price. They're doing a great job at selling you this horrible feedlot meat disguised as high quality. I told you guys this was going to happen. I even got an email from guess who? Chris Cresser. Let me get this straight, Chris. If Butcher Box is high quality meat, then I can safely say meat from Frankie's Free Range Meat is for the Roman gods and statues exclusively. But for some reason, Frankie's Free Range Meat is more affordable and far better quality than Butcher Box. So either you guys are a bunch of liars or you've never actually tried high quality steak. Uh, judging by how much money you're making, I'm sure you can afford high quality foods. Shoot me an email. I'll hook you guys up regardless. Um, whenever I'm out and about, I just 
want to just get whatever I want to get. Um, normally, like, it's going to be mostly animal-based anyway, but being able to get, like, a bun for a burger and not just have like a burger patty would be amazing but i am feeling good i'm just just being a little bit bitter and excited for yeah being able to have just a little something else elise we know you're getting paid to do this at least you can pretend you enjoy doing it she let Cargill hold her hostage for 30 days on the carnivore diet so she can maintain her lifestyle without having to work a real job. What would you say to somebody or a lot of people who are so confused on how eating all meat could possibly be healthy? Um, the way I usually tell people to look at it is... <sighs> oh look, it's Michaela Peterson. Make sure to pay her $600 so she can tell you to eat meat and drink water while she flies around the world getting pumped by top quality meat. <laughs> okay, now the question that you have been waiting for, will I continue eating 100% carnivore now that I have completed this challenge? I've got to be honest, I'm honestly really looking forward to eating something other than meat, fish, and eggs. So I'm not going to continue with this 100%, but I did notice enough benefits from eating this way to make me want to continue eating mostly animal foods. Evil comes in many forms. If it manifested itself in appearance, Elise wouldn't be a cute little blonde girl, that's for sure. At this point in time, one third of the comments on my videos are carnivore shills, Another third are vegan shills, and the final third are my loyal followers, who I place my hope in for exposing these people for what they truly are. At the end of the day, Frankie Boy was right. Thank you guys for joining me today. If you could please like the video, share the video, uh, subscribe if you haven't, definitely hit that bell icon. If you're wondering why vegans aren't talking about this, carnivores aren't talking about this, no one else is talking about this, you know the answer. Don't throw rocks when you live in a glass house.